Y'all, it is nearly 9 p.m. and I'm filming my first video today. And today has just been the most, like the most ever. You know whenever you talk about drama on YouTube and you're talking about drama that happens online? With the amount of drama that's been happening in real life for me with my college, damn. I could make so many drama videos just off of that. Like, do y'all want to see that? I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. But I'm just saying, like, Jesus, there's so much that happens, right? And it's just like, today is one of them days where these bitches are testing me. So, <coughs> without further ado, let's talk about another drama. God. If only y'all knew half the stuff that happens. Like, I have to laugh. <laughs> and before we get into this video, and this is going to be a juicy video, I just want to say a huge thank you. Now, you're probably like, the fuck? What are you thanking us for? The fundraisers. We have done two fundraisers on my channel with this community within one month. One fucking month. You guys, two charity fundraisers within one month and they've both been so successful. I'm so fucking happy. I'm so fucking proud. The one thing that I've always wanted to be able to do, I know, sorry, not to get sappy, we will get into the team, is be able to build up a community that I could have that I would be able to raise awareness for local charities here in Derry and be able to raise awareness and money for them. And I'm really successfully and happy that I can tell you that that has successfully happened. And it's because of you being on board and trusting me and picking these charities. And I just want to thank you so fucking much. If you're on my social medias, you will have seen this already, but... We had our childhood cancer fundraiser for Yaya. Just Keep Swimming Yaya, we handed that money over and thank you so much for raising that. We raised over 1.2 thousand pounds. Then literally a couple days ago for my 18th birthday, we did another fundraiser for Fall Search and Rescue, which is a suicide prevention and mental health awareness charity here in Derry. And we raised 4.2 thousand pounds. So again, we handed over that money as well. And I just wanna say thank you so much. And the fact that we're actually doing good with my channel and community, what more can I fucking ask for? I'm so grateful and I'm I'm really happy and I just, I want you to know that and I never take that for granted and so let's get into the tea. So thank you for allowing me to continue talking about the tea so then we can raise more awareness, gain our community up and then use it for dope ass shit like donating to charity. How cool is that? It's all I've ever wanted. So now you're probably like, Adam, shut the fuck up and get in with the video. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna talk about Shane Dawson. Now, Shane Dawson, is he permanently back now? Like, Shane, what? <laughs> I think Shane Dawson is fully back now and I think the aim of his Instagram stories he did a couple days ago Now we've went through them. I have two videos on this. You should go watch them first He did a bunch of Instagram stories basically being like I'm gonna be back soon But I want to you know congratulate Ryland on his new podcast show Spoiler Ryland has a new podcast show and Shane did this in which by posting a selfie of himself and a lot of people were like would you really do that if you were just congratulating Ryland and being fully happy for him? Because it really brings the attention back to you. We had a full conversation and people were being like, is this damaging Ryland's image and, you know, podcast even more because he's doing this with another co-host rather than helping it? And a lot of people were being like, you know what? Shane's getting a lot of attention now, you know, his first post back. So he's doing it to promote Ryland and turn Ryland making more money, Shane making more money without Shane posting videos. I don't know if his channel's re-monetized, if it's not monetized. You know what I mean? There's a lot of unanswered questions. But we're slowly coming up with our own little theories. Hi, my conspiracy theory, Trishy Fishies. Allegedly. And I genuinely think what Shane is doing right now is the best thing that he could be doing. And he's being very smart with it. He hasn't officially came back. Like, he hasn't been like, here's a YouTube video. You know what? Taking accountability too. <laughs> we all know how that would go. He's like slowly teasing content. You know what I mean? Instagram stories. Remember Morgan and Ryland talking about him in their videos? I mean, testing the waters back then was a bit too soon and people who really didn't react to it well. You may say, oh my god, I got a lot of likes on YouTube. Let's talk about the Reddit comments, the YouTube comments that were deleted, the Twitter comments, the Instagram comments, the TikTok comments. People were not happy to at least see Shane back so soon. And that was only a couple weeks ago. So it's really surprising. I've said it multiple times that it's surprising to me that he's made this move to come back so soon and personally I think it should have been a bit longer like Jane the stuff that you were being exposed for if you want to use that cancelled whatever word it was a bit serious and people love to come after me and be like um Adam you were a fan of Shane Dawson I'm a fan of Shane Dawson Knight we exist and I'm like, yeah, queen, I was a viewer and I enjoyed Shane Dawson's content up until last year. And I'm pretty sure I made a video and it was like my top 10 favorite YouTubers and Shane Dawson was in it. You know why? Because 
I don't think it's that hard to explain that a lot of the stuff that's coming out against Shane is stuff that we've never seen before. Right? <laughs> Unlike Shane's content, the documentaries, which looking back retrospectively, we said that they're literally just long, unedited, boring vlogs with, you know, like, scary music and, like, transitions and just, like, teasing of trailers. You know what I mean? That's a lot different, and liking that Shane is a lot different than then seeing what he built the foundation of his career off of. And a lot of people who saw that are now being like, wow, looking back on this retrospectively years later, this is not good. Or they're like, wow, I only knew half of this stuff. So congrats to the people that are actually willing to grow and to the people who are still saying they're Shane Dawson fans, you're allowed to do that. But whenever you're criticizing other people for them growing and them being better humans, I think baby cakes, it's time to evaluate what you do. You know what I mean? I know most of them are from eight to 13 years old and they're allowed to be dumb. I was dumb when I was eight to 13. Very dumb. I mean, I'm dumb now, but you know what I mean? A little bit more back then. So they're allowed to do that, and they're allowed to have their own opinions, but we're allowed to have ours too, baby cakes. End of topic. End of discussion. You know what I mean? Let's talk about what Shane posted on his Instagram story again. Like, this is, this is like a daily occurrence night. And so my full point in saying that he's actually being very smart because he's testing the water very slowly, but gradually and daily. You know why? Because eventually, in two weeks, people are going to be so accustomed to seeing him posting little, you know, Snapchat posts or little Instagram posts per day that it's like, wait, remember when Shane was gone? Wait, when was Shane gone? Because you start thinking about it like that, and it's a very, very, very smart business tactic, and this Ryland's podcast, and a lot of people were agreeing on this, is the most perfect reasoning for Shane coming back. You know what I mean? He's coming back to support his man, whether his intentions are good or not. It's the most amazing time for him to come back business-wise because he can ease it in. Now, we've had a conversation that I won't dwell on, you know, much, but Jeffrey came back full force. Shane did that, but in a more aggressive and angry, you know, the Instagram live and the video. Jeffrey was silent up until the last moment. So Jeffrey isn't really involved as much as Shane is whenever they're both equally responsible. You know what I mean? It's... A lot of what's happening with both Jeffrey and Shane is down to their own actions, 100%. But both of them have handled it in completely different ways. Jeffrey took the smarter business approach initially, while Shane seems to be doing that now. Jeffrey just did it way sooner. Because at the end of the day, neither of these people are going to go away, their careers aren't gone forever, they're always going to have an income, they're always going to have fans, and, you know, whether we like that or not, there's always going to be people for there. I mean for that. And they're allowed to do that. You know what I mean? We can't control everyone. You know, like what Shane was doing with his docuseries and the narrative. Who said that? Not me. Was that you, bitch? Allegedly. Sorry, I'm feeling shitty. <laughs> do you remember the Sam Smith song? La 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 I feel like I'm in a daydream. You know when you feel like you're in a daydream? Mariah Carey has an album called Daydream. Oh my god, I don't get it. I was supposed to show you these, sorry! So if you want to see the other posts that he put on Instagram, you can watch my other two videos on this, but this was another one that he posted. So this is kind of like updating how well the podcast has done. So, not number one, didn't debut at number one, which honestly I would have expected it to because Shane was, you know, pushing this, but number two, or well, I don't know how far down this is. You know what? Anyways, you knew it was going to do well. People are also assuming that Ryland is going to talk about Shane, and my favorite thing, can I say this just before we get into it? Ryland's podcast is talking about celebrity tea and celebrity gossip. He has no right to come for drama channels and the fans, the fans have no right to come for drama channels, right? Bitch, I've already made it clear. Ryland built his career, literally, on Clever TV, a drama celebrity news YouTube channel. And his podcast is about the same thing. People are like, oh my god, YouTubers are celebrities, so keep up the same energy. I 100% believe that eventually, I didn't listen to the podcast, so he might have already done, but I fully, and people are always like, oh my god, if you're gonna talk about it, listen to it. Girl, I really don't want to listen to Ryland's podcast. Like, I fuck with y'all, but I'm really, like, you can listen to it, you can recap it. But eventually, I'm 100% sure that they're gonna start talking about YouTuber drama, because YouTubers are, whether you want to say it or not, a lot more interesting and entertaining than mainstream celebrities right now. You know what I mean? Right? Right. So he posted this and it was a heart around Ryland's show. Obviously debuting high. 
and said they made it into the charts. I'm so proud of him. Thank you guys for showing love and support and then tagged the podcast. It's called The Sip Official, so about drama and tea. So, I mean, girl, if he can, we can. Keep up the same energy. Rylan can talk about me on the podcast. I can talk about him. You know what I mean? Whether I want a minute or not as well, I'm a public figure. I hate saying that, but anyone can talk about me. Please do. I want my Google CEO up. Hey, bestie! <laughs> Someone was like, oh my god, Adam, you need to stop. There's hate videos being made about you. And I was like, shh, let them. Let them. Let them. They're pushing my Google CEO up. Oh my god, next I'll be on Famous Birthdays, you know what I mean? So this was the first one, right? And then this was the second one, basically, yay, and then Rylan and says, Happy Podcast Day. And I don't know about you, but remember during the peak of the drama, I think it was Shane Dawson's birthday, I made such a, oh my god, it was such a shady video during that. Like, looking back, I probably shouldn't have. I made humble pie and I was eating them. I was a mess. Should I pull it up? Let's pull it up. <laughs> Bitch, not me sitting through my own ad. Birthday yesterday. Why don't we get a little festive on my channel, okay? First things first, this background's not gonna do. Rina Sawayama I was is bad for quite this. festive for Shane's birthday, so Why did I, I have a plan. <laughs> Bitch, I hate myself. <coughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I was bad for this. <laughs> but I can say that he was a kid. He was a kid, he didn't know what he was doing. I love it! <laughs> so that's- Oh my god, <laughs> I'm like looking at it, the viewfinder. <laughs> He was a young vampire some humble pies. And then I bought Yummy. some humble pie. And I, got more. <laughs> I don't think these candles are the right way around, but you know what? They were. I have one job. I'm fucked Happy up. Happy 23rd birthday, Shane. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's not funny. Happy birthday, dear Shane. Happy birthday to you. It's not funny. What was I doing during summer? <laughs> Happy birthday, Shane! <laughs> you see, whenever you make videos in the moment, looking back at this, should I have posted this? No. Is this video a bit much, even for my standards? Yes. I apologize, Shane. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> Tim said, I can't believe you did Humble Pies. <laughs> Anyway, my reasoning for that was this reminded me of back in summer when it was Shane's birthday and the first time we saw Shane in a long time was they actually posed for a birthday picture together. It was Ryland and Shane holding a birthday cake and Ryland posted it. And I remember that got people talking because people didn't know, you know, if Shane was okay mentally, if Shane was okay physically and just how he was doing. And of course we talk uh, on these videos and we talk on everything. I've made it very clear and I've made multiple videos even just speaking directly to the camera as if it's Shane being like, I talk about you and I'm disappointed and I think I was influenced a lot by his, you know, content, but as a person, I don't wish harm on him. Nor do I think people who are in this community, especially on my channel, we're shady, we're fuckers, we're bitches, we hate each other, but we don't wish harm on the people that we talk about. I think it's very clear to know that, but especially back then, I made that very clear and I'll always make that clear. But yeah, Shane was posing that picture and it was actually reassuring that as a person, he was still doing okay. I still think he should come back and address everything and doesn't fucking take it away from that. And we're still waiting, still. Just explaining, you know what I mean? You don't even have to apologize, explain. And then the final one was him posting a screenshot from the podcast says swipe up to listen. So Shane is very much so taking it upon himself to promote this. Now he's allowed to do that, his fiance. But it's just the title is like celebrity breakups, cloud chasers, and the fact they're talking about drama. And it's like, I get it. That's what's so popular. And I will believe that it's going to be popular for, you know, years to come. People love drama. So of course, Rylan's going to talk about it. And it's like, so whenever Rylan will come for drama channels in the future, I'm going to make, bitch, your podcast, keep up the same energy. Like they're expecting the celebrities won't speak up. We're YouTubers, we'll speak up against you talking out against me. Like, Beyonce's not gonna be like, hello, stop your little podcast. So why would a YouTuber do that? You know what I mean? That's at least my opinion of it. But you can have your own opinion, and I just think it's a very interesting conversation, and I definitely think along the fact that Ryland is so anti-drama channels, and you know what I mean? 
whenever that's your job, Ryland, and you're talking about celebrities and drama surrounding them, you know, obviously for a living, now this is what you're doing with your podcast, I assume you'll be doing this more than your YouTube, don't know, don't talk to you, you know what I mean? It's like, keep up the same energy. Do people agree or do people not agree? Have that conversation with me below. But I 100% believe that this is his way of easing himself back onto social media because I'm telling you, like I said at the start of the video, a couple weeks from now, it's gonna be the norm that he's posting on his Instagram story. People are just like starting to talk about it, but people will get tired and then he'll be back. And they'll be like, maybe I should post a video. People will be like, yes, and there's a built-in audience. You know what I mean? This is how it works. I'm gonna read some of my subscribers' opinions. Now, by the way, I literally read these top to bottom until I get bored, so it's just what everyone's are suggesting me first. Making that clear. Catherine said, I love that he's more than happy to cancel himself and be accountable, but now that the spotlight is on Ryland, he has to make it about himself again. In some way, he has to know that if he speaks about Ryland and how he's happy for him, everyone will be talking about Shane's return and that he's happy and back, not the podcast. Selfish and shady. <sighs> this comment seems harsh, and it is. And I do think, I'm trying to look at this like he's congratulating Rylan, but whenever it's like you breaking your silence on the internet over this and you really haven't addressed things and you're saying, you know, you're teasing that you will and it's a selfie of you, it does seem to allude that it's, you know, about drama and having people talking. That, that's just my opinion and I'm just gonna... Everyone has different opinions on it. Tanya said he cancelled himself. And that's true, he literally did cancel himself. He gotta face the consequences. You can't do horrible, unforgiving things, go quiet for a while, then slowly come back like it's alright. Everyone here is woke and knows this already. But again, it's like if they know there's a built-in audience, do they really care? I don't think so. Romeo, Shane, I deserve to have my career taken away. Also shame when his career is taken away. Buy my merch, I'm an empath, watch me post about my friends and family, slow comeback time. Yasmin said, um, didn't he literally say that he's not gonna be posting much? And this was in his post a couple days ago on his Instagram story. But I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the fact that he's cancelled and he's trying to get uncancelled by of course using his friends, family and his significant other. To make it seem like he's the good guy so no one will remember what went down this summer. And you have to realise as well, a lot of people will soon forget what did happen in summer because people are busy. There's a built-in people you know, a bunch of them who watch drama channels, but other than that, like, he still has, like, millions of subscribers, so, like, people just forget. Same with what happened with Jeffrey. People just want to move on, but they'll still enjoy the drama videos, but just move on. It's what happens. Kind of normalized now. It's weird. DB said, I feel like this is hurting Rylan's podcast, if anything, and a lot of people in their replies are basically saying that, what did you mean by this? And they were responding basically by saying that people are going to be thinking he's talking about Rylan, then he's not, and then people will drop off. So they're alluding to the fact that the first couple of episodes will be the most popular because maybe he talks about Shane, maybe Shane will be present, and then if he's not, maybe not though, maybe, who knows? Because Rylan's built-in job was talking about drama, he has to be good at it. So, he has to be, you know, there has to be redeeming qualities about the podcast, whether we want to admit it or not. Crystal, I said, it seems to me like he hired a PR team to manage his comeback because this feels extremely calculated to me. I personally don't think that Seamus Dush Nugget, a new one, is smart enough to come up with something like this. His ass best be staying off the internet for a while because this ain't it. And no, I do think he's actually smart because he calculated the entire thing with, you know, the makeup and pretending to be involved in that to get sales, so he knows what he's doing. Elizabeth said, absolutely, he's a piece of work. This is calculated AF. No one wants him back. Nobody wants him back. Nobody wants him back. He better not come back. He's got no shame whatsoever. Like you said, Adam, they live together, so there was no real need for him to make that post. At least we all knew it wasn't about Ryland. He's testing the waters to see if he can get away with coming back. Yuck. Bath time said, seems to me like they're definitely trying to ease his way back, and I can guarantee that he isn't going to make up for his actions. Now, he said that he was, you know, going to talk, and he has so much to say, so it's, it's just trying to whether you believe that. You know what I mean? Do you believe it? Paula said, but he stayed so silent when the Smiths were calling him out. You're such an empath, Shane. Etsy said, seems like he'll be posting the I'm back new, real, and raw documentary about the situation sooner, swipe up. Now, I'm going to come at this from a completely different perspective because I've talked about this in two videos, so I want to spice it up. Let's say Shane could well just be coming back to show support to Ryland, and he's allowed to do that. Again, we can't gatekeep his social media, and it's very important to say that, because especially on this channel, we've been very vocal that people like James Charles can't gatekeep a community or a social media, so let's keep up the same energy. Let's not be hypocritical. Shane is allowed to post on his social media. On a human level, it just is weird to me personally whenever things haven't been addressed properly. The taking accountability video he posted would probably be better deleted, and maybe a new one, or... If he's just gonna move on, then 
I mean, he can do that. He's allowed to do that. Again, we can't gatekeep his YouTube channel either. And surely, freedom of speech, I believe everyone should be allowed to say what they want. You know, do what they want. So he can do that. But just to the people who were fans, like myself, it would be nice to just even have a little bit of an explanation on why things even were handled the way they were during summer. You know what I mean? And especially with the Taddy Instagram life. I want to know what happened there. And even not his side of the story with the Taddy thing, but just kind of explaining it. Because I would just like to know personally. And it kind of gives a little bit of closure, right? I don't know, I'm just trying to come at this from a different approach, you know, for once to spice it up. And I'm allowed to do that, it's my channel. So, uh, he's coming back, supporting Ryland, he's allowed to do that, he's allowed to post on his social medias. I mean, we don't have his password, he's literally allowed to do anything he wants. But, as people, a lot of my community where people who watch his videos would just like an explanation so they can choose whether they want to support him moving forward. Because shouldn't the aim be to have as many people supporting you as possible? So an explanation will allow people to be like, hmm, did you grow? Did you change? Are you being sincere? And he's had a lot of time to think about that. Whether he has been or not, filming a documentary or not, or actually, you know, taking care of himself, is all up to what we will be shown, and I fully believe we will be shown it. So, I, I don't know, I really want to go from this like interesting, different approach, and I want to know what your opinion is on that as well. Let's talk below, I love you, thank you for watching, and yeah, it's, it's weird talking about Shane in a completely different way now that he's like actually posting on social media, because for so long we've been used to, you know, like little things here and there, but whenever it's like fully in front of us, it's almost like, girl, like, you're spoiling us, you know what I mean? Let me know what you think. Yeah. I'll see you in my next video, and bye.